following points will be covered in this video. Sensitivity requirement test. Prescription balances must be tested to ensure they are operating properly. They should be tested in the location where they are used. Testing should be conducted monthly or more often if the balance is used extensively. Weights should be placed directly on pans when performing testing. A balance is only considered acceptable if it passes all four tests. The first test that will be covered in this video is the sensitivity requirement test. This test determines the minimum amount of weight required to move the needle on the marker plate one division. The balance should have a maximum sensitivity of 6 milligrams with no load and with a load of 10 grams on each pan. Many weight sets do not have a 6 milligram weight, so the test can be modified and conducted with a 10 milligram weight. The sensitivity requirement test is performed in two parts. Part 1 requires placement of milligram weights directly on the right balance pan. No weighing paper or weigh bolts are used. Part 2 requires direct placement of a 10 gram weight on both balance pans, followed by direct placement of milligram weights on the right balance pan. Again, no weighing paper or weigh bolts are used. Test data should be recorded in tables provided, and results are calculated using calculators or spreadsheets. Before you begin, make sure you record the balance identification number from the UIC asset tag or other identifying number. This can be located on the side of the torsion balance. Next, level the balance without any weights on the pan. Adjust the balance until the needle is in the middle of the marker plate. The balance is now leveled. Arrest the balance. Place the 10 milligram weight on one of the empty pans. Close the lid and unarrest the balance. Stand directly over the balance and observe the needle at its new rest point through the top of the glass. Record the number of divisions the weight shifted the needle from zero in the table. Estimate to the closest 0.1 unit. Repeat these steps, increasing the weight on the pan by increments of 10 milligrams up to 40 milligrams. Arrest the balance. Remove all weights from the balance and place a 10 gram weight in the center of each pan. Close the lid and unarrest the balance. Stand directly over the balance and observe the needle through the top glass. Adjust the balance until the needle is in the middle of the plate. Arrest the balance and open the lid. Place a 10 milligram weight on one of the pans having the 10 gram weight. Close the lid. Unarrest the balance and stand directly over the balance and observe the needle at its new rest point through the top glass. Record the number of divisions the weight shifted the needle from zero in the table. Estimate to the closest 0.1 unit. Repeat these steps, increasing the weight on the pan with the 10 gram weight by increments of 10 milligrams up to 40 milligrams. Make a plot of the number of scale divisions shifted versus weight on pan for your data by using a linear regression program found on many handheld calculators or spreadsheets like Excel, the best fit equation can be calculated. Shown is an example of what your graph should look like if you are using Microsoft Excel. The sensitivity requirement can be determined by solving the equation of the line for x by assigning y equals 1, which stands for one division. The solution will tell how much weight is needed to move the needle one division. This sensitivity requirement must be less than six milligrams. Here, the sensitivity requirement is five milligrams. Again, make a plot of the number of scale divisions shifted versus weight for your data. 
this time for the 10 gram load. Calculate the best fit equation, solve the equation of the line, and determine the sensitivity requirement. Notice here there is no data available for the 30 and 40 milligram weights. This is because some balances will move to the end of the marker plate with the addition of 20 milligram, 30 milligram, or 40 milligrams. These values are not valid sensitivity values. The balance cannot freely move and its position be accurately reflected on the marker plate. These values should be excluded in calculations. Again, the sensitivity requirement can be determined by solving the equation of the line for x by assigning y equals 1, which stands for one division. The solution will tell you how much weight is needed to move the needle one division. This sensitivity requirement must be less than 6 milligrams. The sensitivity requirement for the 10 gram load is determined to be 4.2 milligrams. Let's review. The sensitivity requirement test determines the minimum weight required to move the pointer on the marker plate one division. When testing the balance, always place weights directly on the pan. Weighing paper and weigh bolts should not be used. Use a linear regression program, for example, a graphing calculator or a Microsoft Excel program to make a graph and determine its best fit equation. Sensitivity values that can't accurately be reflected on the marker plate should be excluded. Solving the best fit equation for x and setting y equals 1 for one division will give you a sensitivity requirement that must be less than 6 milligrams. If the sensitivity requirement test fails, the balance needs to be serviced. 